The first step in setting up GetResponse should be to create a new campaign. Each campaign sends out a custom series of follow-up messages and maintains the list of related contacts. Newsletters can then be sent to any campaign so the contacts, both active and inactive in the follow-up series, can receive those messages. Click Campaigns in the menu bar and then choose to Create New Campaign. Give the campaign a name with no spaces or special characters. Optionally, change the default name and email address which messages in this campaign will appear to be coming from. Also, in the event that contacts will reply to an automated email, a preferred Reply To address can be specified. To add new ones, simply click My Account at the top of the page and choose Set My From Fields. The settings from an existing campaign can also be imported into a new one automatically. This will include all the dozens of customizations that can be made to each campaign, such as the confirmation messages, and can be a real-time saver. When you're done making selections, click Create New Campaign. A confirmation will display, along with the option to immediately create new messages. Before creating the first new message, the settings of the campaign should be personalized to maximize the results. To see the list of existing campaigns, go to Campaigns on the toolbar and choose View Campaign List. To the right of each campaign title are links to view the follow-up and newsletter messages, and then a series of icons to edit settings, show contacts, or delete the campaign. Click the first icon to edit the campaign settings. First of all, please note the current campaign box near the top of the page. This drop-down list is used throughout GetResponse when any changes or additions are being made which will be specific to one campaign. The campaign settings are divided into four tabs. Under General, the From and Reply To email fields can be selected, as well as the email which daily and weekly subscription reports can be sent to. When choosing options or editing fields in GetResponse, an information box will appear to the far right with further details or instructions to help you along. A blog RSS URL can be entered so that any updates to that blog will be shared with the contacts for this campaign. A Twitter account can also be updated along with the blog. As required by CanSpam law, the sender's postal address must be displayed in the footer of each message sent and this address can be changed for each campaign. Any web forms which capture contacts to this campaign can optionally have a counter display the total number of subscriptions. Finally, the campaign's name can be changed at the bottom of the General Settings tab. Be sure to click Save Settings before making further changes on another page. From the Language Settings tab, the vital confirmation message can be customized, which is sent to all newly added subscribers so they can confirm their intentions to join the list. Various international character sets can be selected to ensure the confirmation requests reach the target audience correctly and can be sent in plain text or HTML format. Most of the message is filled in automatically, so choose first what language is preferred. Then select a subject line and body template that most reflect the theme of this campaign. A personalized message and signature will be inserted automatically with the chosen body template. Click Preview to see how the confirmation message will appear to contacts. Be sure to click Save Settings at the bottom of the page. Under the Message Settings tab, tracking can be enabled so that the rate of open messages can be monitored along with the successful clicking of links contained within messages. Please note that these features are best used with HTML style messages as the actual URL address of links must be swapped with a special GetResponse tracking URL. The Allow Preload Without Authorization feature will permit other GetResponse users to preload their campaigns with the message content of this one without first requiring the account's password. 
It may be useful, for example, if affiliates will be sharing the same email marketing materials. If the next URL merge word is pasted into messages, subscribers can click a link to receive the next email in the campaign's follow-up series without having to wait the default time interval you've set. Because this may indicate that a subscriber is showing further interest, a custom confirmation URL can be specified so that special offers or more information can be displayed. When sending broadcast messages, GetResponse helps to reach a wider audience by publishing automatically to a web archive page and also by updates to an RSS feed. The archive page is hosted by GetResponse, so it can be completely customized with a title, description, logo, and link back to any other website. Each campaign can have a custom signature saved, which will be displayed any time the pre-sig merge word is entered into your messages. This makes it easy to update the signature for all messages at one time. Finally, from the Contact Settings tab, Many of the default pages that contacts will encounter can be fully customized. Notifications for new email and web subscriptions can be sent to the email address specified here. Click Add From Fields or visit the My Account page to add additional emails. When contacts opt in to join a list, a default message of Your Request Has Been Processed is usually displayed with GetResponse branding. However, by entering a URL here, a custom thank you page can be displayed. The default name is used when a proper name is not available for a specific contact. So instead of Hello John, GetResponse will enter Hello Friend into such messages. Click here to turn on the page which will allow confirmation emails to be resent. Under Page Personalization, GetResponse can be set to pass contact information via the POST or GET methods so that custom confirmation pages outside of GetResponse can still display the contact details. This is considered an advanced feature, so only those familiar with POST or GET commands should use it. An easier way to customize the various pages displayed to contacts can be found below. The Confirm, Removal, and next message pages can still be displayed by GetResponse servers but instead show a personalized logo and website link. Just enter the URL of a logo image, the URL of a website it should link to, and a description. The duplicate subscription warning message can be disabled along with the GetResponse built-in error page. A subdomain can be entered for each campaign so that the address appears more customized. To return to your list of campaigns, simply click Campaigns in the menu bar and then View Campaign List.